some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a frauder who goes into a courthouse and thinks he knows more about the law than the judge. But he finds out the hard way that he doesn't know jack squat. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Can I put this here? This door. I just, just, uh... There's no recording devices in the courtroom. Yeah. I know. Okay, let's record. Yeah. Let's see, what do I got? Again, no recording devices. Oh, yeah, I know, man. I don't right. want to go to jail. All right. No, it's judicial law. They don't have any recording devices. Well, see, so yeah, the, the judge could hold me in contempt of court. There's yeah. no actual law against the... The only law against that would be the First Amendment, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like we got a constitutional law expert on our hands. Let me ask you something. Do you know what the Tenth Amendment is? Can you even tell me what the Twenty Seventh Amendment is? Or even any of the seven articles without looking it up on your phone? No, no law shall be passed abridging the freedom of the press except for when we find it necessary. Are you here for court, sir? I don't answer questions, ma'am. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Sorry. What's your name? Man, I don't answer questions. Oh, you don't answer questions. Well, that explains a lot. It explains why you're unemployed, because you've got to answer questions on a job application. And it makes me wonder if you've got a high school diploma, because you've got to answer questions at the very least to get through high school. So what are you here for? Whoa. Where's your visa? Where's, what's your name? I don't answer questions, man. What's your name, sir? Mm. I'm just asking so your name. My eyes are up here. here. What's your name? Are you on this list? I don't. Are you, are you here for court? That's what I'm asking you. Sir, I don't answer questions. What are you here for? Okay. 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 You know you got people waiting out here to get through. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. What's going on? Off. You have to turn your phone off. We don't allow recording up here on the second floor, so you have to turn your phone off. Why not? Is that a law? Or? The, the judge does not allow it up here. Right. This She's got power over her courtroom. I'm yeah. not going to go into her Wait, courtroom. We don't. Okay. But well, we don't allow it, so I'm going to ask you to step down here. Man, as long as I'm not in the courtroom, they don't allow it on the floor. Right. There's no law, dude. So if you're not allowed to do it, that's you. But I'm a citizen. I have to follow the law. Mm -hmm. Only charge that I could be charged with is contempt of court if I go into the courtroom. Okay. So the law says that the judge can do that. The law doesn't say anything about me not being allowed to practice my constitutionally protected activity on the second floor of a courthouse. Do you get what I'm saying? You know what's funny? He says that now, but later on when the judge comes along and tells him he can record in certain areas on the second floor, he takes that as law. He allows the judge to have authority over the court building as long as it's convenient for him. But the moment it becomes inconvenient, he spouts off this BS. And like we will see later on, when it becomes inconvenient, he'll pay the price for it. I understand what you're saying. Okay, well then that's you know, good, so let's just cut out the whole trying to give me unlawful directives and I'll just go about doing my business and I'll get out of your hair when I'm done. Yeah. All right, thank you, man. No, I was right there for me. No, I, I'm not interested in going around to where I am gonna get uh, in trouble, man. I could be over there. It's not in there. What's going on, man? How's it going? It's going good. Are you? Do you work here? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing with this? Didn't they say no cameras allowed up here? Do you? Um. Is it, well, hey. in the courtroom, that hey. would be a different thing. Upstairs, Curry, the judge's owners. I'm his bailiff. Right, yeah, but the judge has power over the courtroom, man. Please leave my office. No, the judge has power over the courthouse, not just the courtroom. And fairly soon, you shall see how much power the judge has, even in the second floor. So enjoy that little delusional bubble you live in, because the judge is going to be popping that here soon. Is this... Okay? Please leave my office now. Hey, whoa. Hey, Jason. Get all crazy with me. <laughs> 
What do you mean, get this guy out of here? Are you guys going to go hands on and get a lawsuit? Yeah. You guys are going to go hands on? Jury room. Okay, you're going there. I was just that door. They're not letting anybody in there. The judge Leach does not allow recording on this floor. The judge has got power the over the courtroom, man. You don't want recording on this floor. That's the line, man. I, the, the judge I'm has got power. I'm just going to ask politely, politely to just leave this floor. If you want to record downstairs, you're more than welcome. I, I'm more than welcome to record up here, man. I, I don't care what the judge wants, man. She's not the law. She enforces it. It's key. You know, what the judge wants, that's what he wants, man. But what mm -hmm. I want is my constitutionally protected activities to be secured. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? First right. Amendment, no law shall be passed abridging the freedom of the press. Mm -hmm. So as long as there's no law against it, I'm going to do it. Now, in the courtroom, mm -hmm. the judge's got all the powers that he, she wants, you know, whatever. You know, I don't know. But, you know, he can do that in his courtroom. He could hold me in contempt of court. You guys could ship me off to the jail. But up here, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as contempt of court house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys can set rules. The Supreme Court already ruled. Policies, rules are for employees. Only thing that applies to me. Citation, citation, citation needed. Citation, citation needed. Citation needed. Provide a citation for your claim right there, dude. Otherwise, you don't have jack squat. But only an assumption which is no good. Okay, that's fine, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. good. I'm glad to hear it. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I was wondering. Uh, I mean, I just don't need to be looking over my no, confidential What's, paperwork. She said is there, it's you confidential? Know. Okay. Take note, this is what gets him in trouble, is him filming this area, and that's what's going to go down here in the next few minutes when the judge tells him he can't film there. We don't want that to be a bill. Can I have one of your things here? Sure. Awesome, thank you. Um, so you guys showed up, just wondering, uh, why are your bailiffs keep telling me to not be on this floor? You're welcome to be on this floor. Okay, I was just wondering. Video. Can't video. We have a, it's a public court, it's an open court. You can sit in the I can't be in court with a camera. Correct. If the judge wants me out of the courtroom, I gotta do what he wants, you know what I mean? But in here, this is in his courtroom. So could we just have your bailiffs trained, like, judge's orders apply in the courtroom, but out here, the judge, it's like if the judge says I couldn't go into, like, the post office, it's like, okay, that doesn't, that's not the law. Actually, no, I won't. I, you won't retrain me? No, I don't need, I don't Is the judge your boss? Yes. Okay, okay, that explains it then. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's always amazing to me of how these idiots can just walk in there and with no knowledge of how the place works and think they can just walk in there and tell them how to run their business. I mean, these employees know what they're doing. You don't, you moron. Try to tell you, boss. Are you the guy from downstairs? Yeah. There's... Please tell me there's somebody down there watching the door. There is. There's okay, thank God. Deputy. Thank God. Great. Off duty deputy. All right. Okay, you're not. Are you allowed back here at all? No. 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 What's there's going on back here? Nothing, but you're not allowed back here. Yeah. Superior Court Office. Sir. So we just spoke with the judge. They just had a conference. <laughs> that talked about this matter, okay. okay? So they're looking into some issues and they just ask that you hang tight on the landing until they check into it. I also thought there okay. there's no videotaping when there's voting going on. Gotcha. So there's no videotaping of the voting. Of the, when there's so voting. There's, that's not right, man. All I'm asking, they're checking into some restrictions. Right. All right. Fine, they just ask that you hold tight on the landing until they're able to verify mm -hmm. and they're, then they're, we'll let you back up here. They're going to verify it, man. It's fine. Unless I'm breaking the law. We're, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm politely asking you to wait on the meeting until they check into I think he's got it. Did you guys get it figured out back there? Okay. This is this is the judge. I this is the judge. To treat him with respect, please. Oh, I treat everyone with respect until I start getting disrespect to myself, man. What's going on? How's it going? Keep telling me what to go. Telling you you go. No, I have no problem. There seems to be some misconception that... You know, you judges can just kind of make rules for the whole courthouse. And I was trying to inform them, you get to make your own rules for your courtroom. But as long as I'm not going in, not filming in, there's not really a problem with me being up here. Because the First Amendment, as you know, there shall be no law passed abridging the freedom of speech. I'm very, I'm sure you are, but, you know, this is, this is their problem. I don't have a problem. And I know, I know my laws, I know my rights, I can't go in there. I mean, I don't agree that you should be able to hold me in contempt of court for doing a First Amendment protect activity, but... That's the way. I mean, you guys throw people in cages for it, so I'm just going to stay out of there. I don't like going in a cage. So I'm just going to do what I can do here. You know, I got rights. If you don't use them, you lose them, right? Every day, millions of Americans exercise their rights. And they do it without being 
nuisances. Yet you step to a non-public forum and act like you own the place. How is that defending your rights? My understanding is the person did not film in the courtrooms. Mm -hmm. They could film out here. Mm -hmm. right. I think for security reasons, they don't want anyone there or the jury room. Yeah, no jury rooms either. But as far as here, I guess they don't think that it's most important. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Yeah, we don't want to don't want to interrupt any of those matters, man. Sorry. Now the judge gets around to telling him that he can't film around the secretary's desk because there's confidential information over there. But take a guess at what this idiot will do next. Will he A, respect the judge's orders, or B, walk on over there with the camera and film anyway? If you guessed B, then you have predicted the actions of a complete moron. What do you mean, like here? I am actually, Judge. I'm, a, I'm allowed to film right here because... If you film this, I will hold you to the court and... You can't hold me in contempt of court when I'm outside the court, man. Whoopsie-daisy, frauditor. Guess again. I'm not coming into court. Don't touch me, man. I'm ordering him to security to bring me into the court. No, do not touch me, brother. You don't want to touch me. If you touch me, that's going to be a lawsuit. That judge is ordering you something. You should not do it. He's... I haven't even done yes. anything illegal, man. I'm leaving. Come on. Nope. I'm leaving. On. I don't have to be in the courtroom. Guys, leave me alone. Guys, I'm asking I'm you. I'm telling you. I'm asking you. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm leaving the, the court. Right now. I'm leaving this. Hey, judge. If... Well, this certainly isn't the brightest frauditor out there. If there is such a thing as a bright frauditor. You walk into a courthouse and think you know everything when you actually know Jack Squat. You know what that's called? That's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. You had just enough knowledge to think you know everything, but not enough to understand how wrong you are.